Welcome to King Said So, Africa's one land, one language, one currency, one army on King Said So. Africans can unite your Pan-Africanist podcast. Enjoy. Comrades, President, CIC Julius Malema. Amandla, Amandla, Viva EFF, Viva, Tata EFF, Tata, Tata EFF, Mpumalanga, Tata, Amandla, Awe Mushu wa Maukodu, Awe, Awe Mushu wa Maukodu, Awe, Awe mushwa di gata marukwa na awe. Awe mushwa butwa na mimele awe. Down with the ANC, down. Down with the DA, down. Down with the Oppenheimer family, down. Down with the Rupert family, down. Amanda. Thank you very much. Commissar Umpile Maute, our Treasurer General and Convener of Elections in Mpumalang. Let me also salute the Provincial Chairperson Colin Sidibe together with the Provincial Secretary and all those who were elected in the PPA of Mpumalang. I salute all the regional leaders, and more importantly, I salute you, the ground forces of the EFF. The EFF is alive in Mpumalanga. Batanda, Batande, Sesfiki, Mpumalanga. Mpumalanga belongs to the EFF. Comrades, when we go to war, we must be guided by our demands for land and jobs now. All our international guests who are here, particularly President of Pudemo, who is always with us and always shows us support. We also salute the pastors and the traditional leaders and all our guests. Thank you for not being cowards by coming to the EFF events. Gathered here is only the brave ones. If you are a coward, you don't belong to this stadium. That's why we came to Kanyamazane, because we know the people of Kanyamazane are not cowards. The people of Kanyamazane are demanding land and jobs now they want load shedding to end now. The people of Kamakuku are saying to us they are tired of the corruption of the ANC in Pumalanga and in Mbombela. So we are here to say we are going to put to an end unemployment and hunger. We want this province to be a province that belongs to the people of Mpumalang. When they say they are going to Kruka National Park, the tourists, they don't only go to see the animals, they also look at us as animals. The reason why they come as tourists and look at us as animals is because only animals will not own their own land. But if we are people, we must own our own land. Without the land, we are not different from the elephant and the lions. So you must know that the demand for land is a demand to restore your dignity, to move you from the status of an animal into a status of a human being which must be respected. Comrades, here in Mpumalanga, 
Our people live in humane situation. Our people in Bombela and San River, they live in worse situation because those people for seven years, they never had water. Yet they are in Bombela, yet they are closer to development. I hear noises in Kaute, people saying there is no water today, there will not be water tomorrow. But the people of Sun River have never seen a drop of water for the past seven years. The ANC went to put taps in their houses because it was a PR. Since they've put the taps in the houses in Sun River, those people never had water. Comrades, the jobs are going to be killed here in Mpumalang. More than 100,000 jobs are created from coal mining. When they say we must close coal mining in South Africa, you must know they are saying we must close jobs. Because coal mining in South Africa is jobs in Mpumalanga. Without coal, there will be poverty in Mpumalanga. Without coal, there will be suffering in Mpumalanga. And we are not going to allow the ANC to close our coal power station and close our coal mine. Whatever money that Ramaphosa went to take from Europe in exchange for closing our mines, we are not part of that. We will not pay back that money. We never ask for their money because we believe that coal is the base of our energy. Comrades, let's make sure that Mandlan Drovu and his wife are stopped from stealing the resources of Mpumalang. Mandlan Drovu is the most stupid chairperson of the ANC. Mandlan Drovu does not know how to think and because he can't think, as a result, he can't speak. Imagine Mandlan Drofu being your premier here in Pumalanga. You must go and stop that stupidity on the 29th of May. You must say Mandlan Drofu will never be our premier. Refilu Etsipane. The current premier will be the last stupid premier in that office. We are going to send men and women who can think and who can work for the people of Mpumalanga. Comrades, we want tourism in Mpumalanga to benefit you, the people of Mpumalanga. It must not be some few people who make money out of tourism because tourism can create a lot of jobs if properly supported many of you should be owning lodges many of you should be owning transport that takes the tourists around many of you should be having small businesses that are exposed to tourists so we know that when we speak in Mpumalanga, we don't just speak for the sake of speaking. We mean everything that we say on this platform. Because Mpumalanga leadership has always led from the front. Just close your eyes and imagine if there was no EFF in Mpumalanga, what was going to happen today? We were going to be in a worse situation because this EFF in Mpumalanga exposes corruption all the time. When there is a corrupt municipal manager, they fight that manager and make sure that manager is removed from the office. When there is a corrupt mayor, the EFF at Dr. J.S. Moroka submitted a motion of no confidence and removed a mayor 
in Dr. J.S. Moroka. The EFF has been exposing corruption in Kangala, in Kharsibande, Tembelite Township. They know that if it was not of the EFF, corruption was going to be the order of the day because there was a councillor in Tembelite Township who was selling RTP houses. The EFF went to expose that corrupt councillor and as a result, he was even fired from work. This EFF is working very hard in governing Beggy, is working very hard in Bushback Ridge to make sure that our people get water and not just water, a clean drinkable water. The EFF of Mpumalanga has exposed many people in this province, including the HOD of Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, Mr. Mnisi, for his double payment of 30 million. It was this EFF which said this HOD must be removed from office. And as we speak today, he was dismissed and is going through a police case. Because when we say we fight corruption, we don't just talk. We are in the forefront against corruption. Fighters, yeah, in Mpumalanga, the EFF fought that there must be a new primary school in Nelspreet because Nelspreet is growing fast and the schools are few. As a result, this government is going to build new primary schools in Nelspreet and White River because the EFF demanded that there should be a primary school. Comrades, we are proud to report that MEC of Sports, Arts and Culture was reported to public protector for the monies that he has been stealing there. And the public protector said to the MEC, pay back the money. And that MEC must pay back the money. Fighters, we, in, we are in a struggle for land. We want land in Mpumalang. We want land not in the rural areas. We want land next to the suburbs, next to town, because we must be next to where we are working. We must be next to where we are doing shopping, where we are going to church, where we are going to school. This thing of saying Kanyamazani, it's a township of Nelspreet, but Kanyamazani is very far from Nelspreet. We don't want to build further back. We want to build going back to town because that's where we belong. That's where our people must go. We will do this through land expropriation without compensation. We are returning back to our land. Kruka National Park belongs to the people of Mbombela. It doesn't belong to a white man. That's why that statue of Kruka must be demolished. It must be destroyed because we can worship the people who were killing our people. Paul Kruka is a crook. Kruka is a crook who stole our land. And we can have a statue of a person who stole our land being celebrated. We must also change the name Kruka National Park and give it a progressive name. We must also change the name of the airport. We cannot have Kruka National Park. We cannot have Kruka International Airport. We want everything that sounds and look like Kruka removed from all the public places and not only in Mpumalanga, but all over South Africa. Comrades, we are going to take the land of Johann Rupert. The Leopard Creek is ours. 
Why is Rupert having a piece of land in Mpumalanga? He doesn't know this province. He doesn't belong here. Leopard Creek was stolen from us and must be returned into the hands of our people. So those who know Johan Rupert, tell him we are coming to claim our land on the 29th of May. Tell Oppenheimer family we are coming to claim our mines on the 29th of May. Tell the Oppenheimer family we are coming to claim our banks on the 29th of May. Tell them we are coming to claim our economy from the hands of the few and we are going to place it in the hands of the majority. Comrades, we want to say to you, the EFF in this province will not create less than 700,000 jobs because of mining, because of tourism, because of land ownership. But equally, we are going to create more jobs here in Mpumalanga because we are going to industrialize. We are going to make sure there are factories and those factories are working and you get employed in those factories and you own those factories. Fighters, we are going to use tourism to create jobs because in tourism, you can have travel agent. You can be a tour guide. You can own a hotel or hospitality management. You can have event planning. You can do tourism research and analysis. There are a lot of opportunities in tourism, including mining in Mpumalanga. We will never stop to mine coal in this province because coal is our food. Without coal, we will not eat anything. So the ownership of coal mines must be in the hands of our own people, not in the hands of the few corrupt who come to Mpumalanga, steal coal, and leave us poor. This EFF, when it takes over Mpumalanga, is going to look for those who were working in the coal mines. We are going to make sure that their pensions are paid because many of them have left mines with nothing. We are going to make sure that those who are sick because they were working in the coal mine receive better treatment because they made the economy of Mpumalanga. We are going to make sure that the children of those who were working in mines, and today they are no longer working in the mines, those children go to school free of charge. Comrades, we want Whitbank, Emma Latin, Babatin, to be one of the best towns that our people can be proud of. We want all of these towns in Nelspread, in Bushpark Ridge, and everywhere else. Let's make sure we restore the dignity of our former towns because ANC destroyed everything. Let's go and revive and correct the mess of the ANC. We are going to give all of you free education. No child must pay for a school fees. Why do you pay for a school fees? Because education is not a commodity. You can't sell education the same way you sell bread. There must be a difference between bread and education. Education is a right. It's not something that you can do without. We want all of you to be educated because the ANC likes you when you are not educated. They don't love educated people. Why? Educated people ask 
educated questions and therefore they don't want to be questioned that's why they can't give you free education the eff student command is doing very well in all the universities including university of mpumalanga the student command is there to register the children of the poor of the poorest for you to get into university we don't want your surname we don't want to know your mother we don't want to know your relatives we just want to see your results if your results say we are Tabang, again that's the way you are going to be educated in south africa because we only need results to take children to school fighters they say education is free in some of the schools here in kanyamazan but at the same time they say you must buy school uniform how do you say education is free and then say i must buy uniform you are saying i'm poor i can't pay school fees that's why you are giving me free education but when it comes to uniform you say i'm not poor i must buy uniform when do i become poor so everything that goes with education if we want free education everything must be free school uniform must be free our children must get school uniform why uniform means uniformity it means we must all look the same but when you come from poor family you don't have a proper uniform as a result you don't look like other children and you are discouraged you are always told that you are poor by how you look we want you to look the part when you are at school we don't want you to worry about anything just worry about your education we will take care of the rest and this feeding scheme that they're giving you at school we are going to give you proper feeding scheme because how do you say the children must eat at school until matric you don't give them meat what is food without meat there's food in yam so in the feeding scheme of the eff there's going to be meat and not just meat healthy food for all our people and that meal will be served twice it will be during the break and even after school because when you arrive home you must do your homework and go and play you must not go home and start looking for food because that's what makes our girl children to be vulnerable we need to take care of them in whatever respect comrades we are going to give all the children free sanitary pads because the pads are not used for luxury these people they can't think of the ANC they give you free condoms how do you give people free condoms on something that is a choice to have sex is a choice but to be on your periods is not a choice it is nature and whether you are poor or not you are going to experience the period so we can't say we are giving the children of the poor only if you say that you are asking them to come and display their poverty why must they display their poverty we give everybody and in the process of giving everybody the right target is going to be found so we need a caring government comrades no child will go to school and not be integrated 
into jobs. University of Mpumalang must serve the courses that are relevant for the economy of Mpumalang. And it must not only be theory, there must be practicals. So they must take you six months before you finish school. You must go and do practicals in the factories, in the firms, in the mines, in every field where you are studying. So that when you finish school, automatically there is a factory that saw you before and they are waiting for you to be integrated into their firm. So we are going to make sure all children get jobs. And not only in the factories, even in government, even in the municipality of Mbombela. We will not do this thing of the ANC, of wanting to sleep with people before they give them jobs. And when you don't agree to sleep with them, they don't give you a job. So we are going to finish that policy of the ANC, including RDP houses. RDP houses must be given publicly. When you go and register for RDP house, your name must be displayed, must be displayed on a public notice board. So we know who's number one, who's number five, who's number 10. If number 15 gets before number 10, Njani, because now we know who's number 10. How can this one, number 15, get a house before others? Bonkhonu barona, lebo mama reina, saliba mwadisha di RDP, ka 1997, bana baba nyane ba RDP, before but baba wulu. That must come to an end. But let me tell you, under the EFF government, there will not be a single disabled person without a house. Disabled people are not too many. We can give all of them houses in six months if we care about ourselves. If we care about ourselves, we must care for those who can't do for themselves. No disabled person will not have a house in South Africa under the EFF. And in the EFF, there will not be a single office in government without a disabled person. Because there are many disabled people who are able, who can read, who can write, who can think. The fact that he's sitting on a wheelchair it doesn't mean you must write them off. Give them an opportunity. You will see what they will show you. Comrades, we must fight crime. There is too much crime here in South Africa, especially here in Pumalang. There is still the cars everywhere. They pass by Pumalang to Mozambique to Swaziland. We need to stop crime in Mpumalang. Once we succeed in stopping crime in Mpumalang, then we know the whole of South Africa will be free. Till today, the killers of Hilary Gadi, a daughter of our Secretary General, till today, those people have never been found. If a child of a high-profile person like that can be killed and nothing happens, what about us ordinary people in the villages? We need to remove the rot in the police of Mpumalanga. There is too much corruption in the police of Mpumalanga. Comrades, we are going to build clinics that are going to operate 24-7. We don't want a clinic that closes at 4 o'clock. 
who said we don't get sick at night. So we want clinics opened 24-7. And it must not just be a clinic. It must have the state-of-the-art equipment inside that clinic. It must also have an ambulance. What is a clinic without an ambulance? What is a clinic without a nurse? What is a clinic without a doctor? Today, they say they are unemployed doctors. We must be ashamed. We cannot have a doctor unemployed when there is so much demand for doctors all over South Africa. All those who graduate and can't find jobs, the EFF is going to give them graduate stipend because we don't want you to go to school and become a joke in your township. But degree is earning three-fifty. The same with a person who doesn't have metric. When we say we'll give you money for graduating, they say, where will the money come from? But they are giving you money now. They are giving you 350. So we don't have a problem with 350. It shall be given to those who don't want to go to school. But once you get metric, you must get 1,000. Once you get a degree, you must get 3,000. Once you get uh, honors, you must get 4,000. Once you get masters, 5,000. Let people be paid according to their qualifications. Why? If you go to school and you graduate and you don't work, your children will never agree to go to school. They are going to say to you, why must I go to school? Because look at you. You are educated, but you don't have a job. There must no education pays, and it must pay in a literal meaning. I want to make education fashionable in South Africa. I want you to compete with your qualifications. I don't want you to say, I've got four Cavellas. I've got a Levi's jean. I use iPhone nonsense. The breaking must be, I've got a diploma. No, I'm finishing my degree. Oh, my honors is giving me a headache. That is the type of discussion we want here in Kanyamazane and everywhere else. Let's make education fashionable. Comrades, but if you elect Malema, Uzo Tata grant. Because those people who say Malema Uzotata Grant is because they don't read. I've written it in the manifesto of the EFF that Abu Koko Nabum Kulu was a four thousand five hundred when we take over as the government of the EFF. Even the money of our children. Child grant, no child must get less than 850 because these children, we must love them. I will never take the grants away. Now, I'm standing in front of you today because of the money of the grants. My grandmother bought all types of food for us because of that money. And when you give Abu Koko Imali, they don't go around playing cards with that money. They buy a bag of millimil and put it behind the door to feed all children of Africa, including the children they don't know. So you know that when you give Abu Koko Imali, you are going to benefit a lot of people. And Imali corner, a corner, because 
By John Jama politician, the man. By John Jalema, the politician. So we are going to stop that corruption. Take that money, redirect it, and give it to the poor of the poorest. Why do we have deputy ministers? Why do we have so many ministers? They've got houses in Pretoria, houses in Cape Town. They've got cars in Pretoria, cars in Cape Town. Why do you need premiers? Premier is the most useless position. MECs are the most useless people. If anything, councillors are more important than the premier because they work directly with the people. What is it that the premier is doing? But he's paid a lot of money, that premier, for doing what? Under the EFF, we are going to cancel these premiers, these MECs, even this legislature of Mpumalang, legislature to do which law? Because we are all under one law, and that law is the constitution of the Republic of South Africa. There is no constitution of the Republic of Mpumalanga. Why should there be a law for Mpumalanga? The, the same law must be applied in Cape Town, it must be applied here, in Pumalanga, it must be applied in Limpopo. So why would we say, no, we have legislatures to make provincial laws? It's a lie. There are the most useless people. Limpopo, legislature. Yo, 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 they announce, they tell everyone, we are going to legislature. You know why? Because they go once in a while. In parliament, we work every day. In the legislature, they work that day. But every month, they get paid money for doing nothing. So, we want to take that money and give to our, our grandparents. Comrades, uh, we, we gave IEC the list of the EFF yesterday, and we also paid the money to contest on the 29th of May 2024. So, in our list, you are going to find people with PhDs, you are going to find people with degrees, you will never find a metricless person in our list unless it's Mam Kaula and those kind of old people, one or two. But the rest of your age, if they don't have metric, they will never represent EFF in parliament because they can't say to you, you must get metric before you get a job. But they go get a job without metric because they are politicians. That nonsense must come to an end. We must all have metric before we go into parliament. So, comrades, we are going closer now. We now submitted the list. We paid everything. Today we are here launching our manifesto in Pumalang. The days are coming closer. The people of Swaziland came here and said all the Swatis must vote for the EFF because they know that Swaziland will know freedom if EFF is in government. That the king will not abuse the Swazis because the Swatis because of his power. We are not opposed to the king. He must be like the king of the Zulus and stop interfering with government and do issues of traditional leaders. That's all we are saying. He can go on to be a king, but allow the people of Swaziland to elect the government of their choice. Comrades, the people of Palestine are being killed today by Israel. 
we went to parliament and said let's remove the embassy of israel that resolution passed the anc is refusing to implement the resolution of parliament the anc executive undermines parliament because once it has passed parliament ramaphosa ranko mass make sure that decision is implemented we are with the people of palestine and we make no apology about it we know oppression we know occupation that's why we are with the people of palestine palestinians are south africans south africans are palestinians we are all human beings and we stand for the human rights all over the world including in palestine if you are a muslim and you voting for da it means you are voting for the killing of muslims in palestine if you vote for rise mzanzi you are voting for israel if you vote for musima imani you are voting for israel but if you love the people of palestine you will vote with the eff because eff will fight for the people of palestine comrades i can tell you now that this stadium has sent a message to Mandlandrovu, to Ramaphosa, to all of them. They came here and filled up Mbombela Stadium with the people from Limpopo, from Gauteng, from everywhere else. Here is only the people of Mpumalanga. Now, they must know that whether they like it or not, the EFF is going to the Union building. And the march to Union building starts now. We are here to start a journey. Look at that flag on top of those um, Apollo lights. That flag is going to fly like that at the Union building. That flag is going to fly like that all over the world in the embassies of South Africa. Today, from Kanya Mazani Stadium, we are marching straight into Union Building. No one is going to stop us. Anyone who stands in between us and the Union Building will be crushed. Fighters, ground forces, the time is now. Don't be scared of them. Don't get tired. Don't be discouraged. Door to door. Let's go and confront the enemy. Let's go and claim the victory of the EFF. Amanda!